today class. I hope you are all fine, in good health, and safe at home while we're watching this video. Today, I am going to discuss the summary of PD957 before we move on to another topic, which is BP220. So, this law is also known as the Subdivision and Condominium Buyers Protective Decree. What PD957 covers? It covers first the subdivision project. Uh, for those of you who do not know what is a subdivision, uh, by definition, it is a registered parcel of land which is partitioned primarily for residential purposes into individual lots. So, for example, this one. Example, this. Okay, that one. Or this one. Okay. Um, you own a big land let's say 100 hectares and you want to develop it you have that 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 type that lot has a mother title and you want to develop it into a um a subdivision so you hire a genetic engineer a surveyor uh that would subdivide the lots into smaller uh lots and you apply for a a title for that individual lot and good to go na din na siya for selling. Okay? You have to conform with what is written in this law in order for you to to go on um para maka develop mo og subdivision. Okay? Second is a condominium project. So by definition, the entire parcel of real property divided or to be divided in condominium, including all structures thereon. So compared to subdivision project, which is developed horizontally, the condominium project is developed vertically. Usually, you you will see subdivision. Uh, you will see condominium projects on uh, the city or highly urbanized uh, city, because the owner. Uh, the buyer will will just own a part of the building, okay? But it's treated like a a sa subdivision gihapon nga the the title that you will get from that bill that from that ownership, pwede ni mo siya maloan sa bank, ana. So muna siya ang ang airspace lang ang ang maon o ang building. Uh, ang part sa building sa condominium in in the co in condominium projects compared sa subdivision nga, nga land gud ang maon sa sa buyer and um what else about condominium so muna siya vertical ang condominium and then subdivision is uh, horizontal development so on the market classification we have two. First is the medium cost housing and the open market housing. So, uh, it is defined, these two are defined in, in this law as housing projects where prices of house and lot packages are within suggested price ranges as the as determined through each UDCC resolution and falling under the standards prescribed in these rules. So, ang housing and urban development coordinating council ang mag-set ana kung asa na classified ang imuhang buhato ng subdivision or condominium kung na classified ba siya as medium cost or open market housing ang kining mar open market housing class mo na siya morag na butang din ha ang mga high end ang medium kanang sa medium lang siya and then ang katuday yung next nato na itakol na law which is BP220 na belong na siya sa socialized housing mga low cost 
Okay, so kining duha na ano siya under sa PD uh, PD957 and then sa katong low cost nga uh, market housing dito na siya na belong sa BP220 because lahi ang iyahang mga standards, lahi ang design standards nga na add dito. Okay? So what's inside this law? So we will tackle the uh, ang the, on, uh, the the sections nga related sa up uh, ang um, ma relate na to sa sa design uh, mga design standards uh, ato lang i-run through ang um, kanang mga sa administrations na kanang sa mga broker na nga part so i-run through ra na nato so ang ako lang gin i-tackle i-focus class ang um, sa design nga related sa ato ang an um, related sa atong course because if magtakol pa ko an ng kuan ang atong time dili siya enough because we have to tackle a lot of laws regard uh, related to building so rule 1 minimum design standards subdivision and condominium okay section 1 design standards for subdivision the residential subdivision project shall conform with the following minimum design standards. Applicable local government units, zoning ordinances, as well as pertinent provisions for the National Building Code if the project is with housing component. So, if ang imong i-develop class is the um, subdivision project na land lang, Pwede ra ka magkuan sa zoning ordinances sa LGU uh, because each place have different um, zoning ordinances. No? So, uh, zoning ordinances meaning na kung asa ang uh, agricult agricultural zone, uh, industrial zone, residential zone. So, syempre, ang ma-approve ra na i-apply ni mga subdivision is the kanang na belong siya sa residential nga zone. So, if agricultural zone ang imuhang lote, eh, ang imuhang location, you have to napay mga process ana ah, i-undergo ang owner. I have pa ma-approve. No, kung ma-change ma na siya nga, nga zone into a residential. Okay? If with with a house, ang imuhang i-make nga subdivision, syempre, it should uh, follow the National Building Code as well in building your your houses with the land. Okay, still under uh, Section 1, Design Standards, Site Criteria. First, the location. So, as I said, conformity with the zoning ordinance or the comprehensive land use plan. So, muna siya. First, if you are about, uh, if you want to buy a subdivision lot, you have to check the uh, zoning sa location. So, especially now, daghan kay tagmakita, di ba, sa Facebook nga, nga kuan, um, barato ra ka yung lot, and then, Para ma-sure ni mo if that is really uh, legit yun siya nga subdivision, you have to check the uh, zoning or uh, the zone kung nabutang ba siya sa residential zone. Okay? And then second is the physical suitability. So it should be located within suitable sites for housing and outside hazardous prone areas. Okay? Meaning aning outside has hazard prone areas. Uh, for example, dito sa Baguio, di ba daghan kayo mining din ha? Or sa dinhi ba sa Mindanao ang sabay mga mining? I'm not really familiar sa mining sites. So, dili siya um, physically suited for a subdivision if dito siya sa dool sa, or ang past niya nga history, anak nga lugar, na asya yung mga, may, kanang mga mining site de siya. Because you do not know na amin day mga hollow din ha below the, the land. So, di, it's not suitable. So it's dangerous. So, physical suitability should be safe to 
to leave ang public. Okay, third is the accessibility. So, it should have a road that is readily accessible to public transportation lines. Dapat naan na siya kuandaan ka ng readily accessible na ang transportation lines, public transportation lines. And then B is the planning considerations. First, the area planning. Layout should conform to the standards for residential condominium projects. Okay, it should be um, same with the condominium projects or residential projects. And then the site preservation. Slope should allow rainwater to drain and preserve site assets. So it's a site assets na siya. Okay. So, um, ang terrain, preserve, kung unsa ang slope sa terrain, maor gihapon. Kaya maglisod mang gihapon, class, if imong siyang i-reverse ang kuan, no, sa on ang pag-drain sa water, if lahi ang, and then it, it would add cost if you will not conform to the natural slope niya. And then you want preserve the natural assets such as uh, your location the is na anay lake taan na anay siya lake so pwede ni mo siya uh, add sa imuhang marketing na naa siya natural lake din ha and then for example a, a tree or shrub so you, you have to preserve those assets site kung dili ni mo siya i-preserve mas mahal ang imuhang development and then ang um, primarily ang um, ma-harm ni mo ang environment. So, you have to preserve the site. And third are the easements. So, observe and conform to the existing provision and easements. No? We have provision sa easements, meaning ano ka ng mga provisions ni mo sa, like sa, sa drainage, sa water lines, sa like sa power supplies. No? You have to, to conform and observe serve those existing laws governing those in, in, in terms of easements. And then fourth, uh, it's the circulation. So the subdivision should follow the road network uh, hierarchy. No? Road network should result into a hierarchy of functions and should de define and serve the subdivision as integrated units. So, na siya yung major roads, minor roads, and that. So, uh, still under section 1, design parameters, land allocation. So, what is this land allocation? Meaning class, na in a subdivision, there is a sellable lot and the non-saleable lot. So, standard na gid ni siya, nga dili anan, anang imuhang na, na mana nga dako nga um, lot, imo na siya hutdun o pamaligya ng subdivision. Uh, of course, you uh, allocate a, a land na non-saleable. No? Ano sa man ang percentage sa saleable? 70%. And then, for those non-saleable is 30%. So, always gina siya class. So, what is a, what are saleable areas? So, wrong ni siya ha? What are, what area, saleable areas? What are saleable areas? Uh, sorry for that uh, error. So, these saleable areas are, of course, lot, di ba? Muna siya ang mga lot na ibaligya sa developer. Muna siya. So, 70% of the total area of your owned lot, mura na siya ang pwede ni mo ma-develop into sellable lots. Um, what are non-sellable? So, sayop na sa ko, ani Wala ni A class. So, what are non-sellable areas? Non-sellable areas are parks and playgrounds. So, syempre, kung mag-create ka o sub mag develop ka subdivision, murag lain sa ka ay walay parks and playgrounds, no? Asa man lugar mag-play ang, ang mga children ana sa kanang homeowners, you have to provide parks and playgrounds for kanang kwapo nga ventilation, for recreation, 
no? In my example, diri niya gibutang ang iyahang parks and playgrounds. And then, second, our circulation system. So, dili man kay uh, wala nagi road, di ba? You have to provide circulation system such as roads. Na, uh, road, sidewalk, ano, para mag-circulate ang mga tao ba? Kung hmm? naakay car, makaagi ang car dito comfortably, makawalk ang tao. So, dili lang kay sub, i-divide lang ni mo ang land ni mo nga sa so, na ang wala na right road right of way so you have to provide circulation systems and then community facilities no community facilities such as um, uh, clubhouses um, if bigger na class bigger na ang area daghan na kaayo uh, number of uh, lot or residence ana ang subdivision na ana elementary school na anay mga clinic, no? magdepende na siya sa sa kadako sa imuhang subdivision project. Okay. Parks and playgrounds. Under this law, na adin table for parks and playground nga allocation. So, as I said, it depend, uh, depends on the, the, the area of your or on saang dwelling units, number of lots or dwelling units. Siyempre, if mas, if daghan ang imuhang dwelling units, mas nakupod ang percentage allocated for parks and playgrounds. Okay? And then, the community facilities. No? Table 2, facilities according to the number of saleable lots, dwelling units for subdivision projects per hectare above. So, first column, mani siya ang number of saleable lots. So, as, as you can observe, if tagko na, muabot nag 2,000, so naan na siya complete. Nakalos na na siya neighborhood multi-purpose center. That's your club, ang term nila dere sa, sa Philippines are the clubhouses. No? Kung naan na ay yung mga convenience stores and other commercial centers, elementary school, high school, na pa yung mga tricycle terminals. No? One example for a dirina class nga bracket is kanang din sa Grand Europa. No? Naana sila yung school din ha. Murag naana siya a city within the city. No? Kompleto na sila because daghan, daghan sad ang mga dwelling units diha nga subdivision. Okay? Then, the circulation system. No, you can see the hierarchy of roads. No, mag, mag range kihapon sa, sa size sa project. And then, na-classify na, na dahil siya sa nabilong ba ang imuhang subdivision into open market or sa medium cost. Okay. Sorry. Patawat sa ko. Yeah. Medium cost and uh, open market. class. So, nag-effort ko ano yung video class, no? <laughs> okay. It's, it's, quite, it's good for to learn uh, skills, new skills. No? This pandemic really teaches us new skills. So, mapilitan dito tao learn new skills. So, positive lang class ang ato ang attitude sa, sa mga mga problems ka maabot sa life. Okay? So, let, let's um, um, continue our discussion. So, circulation, table 4. There's, in this table, you'll uh, see the okay, no? mga dimensions sa mga, on say, dimensions sa road, kung na-categorize ka sa open market, and then there is a medium cost. Okay? Circulation system, the road, road right of ways, major road, um, 10 meters, minor road is 4. 
okay, applies both medium cost and open markets. So, ano ang na-observe ninyo, class? Ang atong mga subdivision din ni ay mga uh, gagmay kay mga dalan, no? So, kanang mga gagmay kay dalan, mga 6 meters lang, nabilong na siya, class, sa DP220. So, if ang imuha ganing subdivision, na-classified siya sa sa um, medium cost and open market, dapat Pili mo minimum, minor road, major road, no? 10 and 8. Okay? So, next slide is about the width of planting strips and sidewalks. So, dirigya po niyo makita class sa PD957 ang mga road width and then the planting strips and sidewalks. Okay? Under circulation system. Lot requirements, no, layout. lot layout, minimum lot area. No? We have two types of housing, single detach. Dili na nako na makuan kay screen na nako. So, dire ragid akong taman. So, ako na lang i-use akong mouse. So, this is my mouse. Single detach and duplex and then the row house. Kabalo na ba mo ani class? Kining single detach, duplex and row house. Ah, Naka-project na ba mo ani sa inyong design? Or wala pa? Okay. I think murag wala pa because gini siya nga lo i-introduce ni ninyo. Sa inyo ay ha mo mag-project sa design na na. Pero at least you know kung sa ang inyong design pieces. Asa mo mag-base sa inyong design. So, table 7 minimum lot frontage. Okay? Manisha, single corner lot, irregular, duplex house. Manisha ang mga frontage. You know what's frontage, class? Frontage sa house. If this is your lot, this is your lot. Okay? Then your road. Ang frontage ni mo, class, diha. Okay? Siya ang frontage. So, sa minimum, lot, minimum lot sa single detached, muna siya minimum 100 square meter and 120 square meter sa open market. Muna siya ang mga cutting sa imuha individual lots. Okay? Okay, muna siya. Kanang naamoy sakpugid nga setbacks. Okay? 3 meters sa front, side Og sa rare 2 meters. So you have to follow the the National Building Code na standard. Unless lang kung ang imong project is BP220, that's why naagi separate law ang BP220, the socialized housing nga law. So for the socialized housing na law, kay, nga gagmay na kailahang mga front, uh, mga setbacks, gagmay na. Okay. Then, minimum for the lot duplex. Lot duplex, kanang duha ka buok. Magdikit. Oh, as a duplex. Magdikit ang, like this one. Duplex. So, na, lahi ang tag dari class. Lahi po dan, dani. No? Lahi dani. Then, lahi po dari. Okay. Duha ka ownership. Pero, ang ilahang lot, ana, individual gihapon. Uh, applicable ni siya class kung ang developer nag murag package na ang building. Okay? So, they share one firewall there. Here. Okay. Then, the minimum lot sa row house. Row house, ka na mga nagtapad-tapad ng mga buildings. Row house, no? So, the minimum frontage is the 4 meters. And then, muna siya ang example for the row house. Okay, ang advantage lang sa row house class, uh, I mean, uh, mag ni kung cost effective and then, uh, kung mag-buy mag ka o row house, buka sa pinaka-kilid. Kaya at least, doon ka buka ang imuhang um, sa imuhang ventilation. No, natural ventilation ni siya row house. So, ang imuharang source of natural light and ventilation sa front lang o sa back. 
a row house. Well, if you are located at the middle, like this one, this one. Okay. So length of the block, maximum length of block shall be 400 meters. However, blocks exceeding 200 meters shall provide with an alley appropriate, uh, appro approximately at mid length. Okay, so ang minimum niya class nga length sa block is 400 meters. Ano siya? This one. Here, here, here. Okay. Then kung 400 or exceeding na siya 250, in the middle na agi siya alley. Okay, that's an alley. One. Fourth, shelter component. Minimum floor area for open market housing shall be 42 square meters and 30 square meters for the minimum cost, medium cost housing. Okay? Shelter component. Muna siya ang imuhang house. Sa house na nimo. Floor area. Okay? Muna siya. Minimum open market is 42. So, mas tako good ang open market. And then, the uh, 30 square meter ang sa medium cost. Okay, floor area. So, lalo siya yung set box. Medium cost. Actually, class, ang gusto din ako ma-achieve aning uh, effect is kanang mag magsulat ko sa blackboard ba? But, at least, di ba, murag dool dool na po siya. Nakaya po nagigit ko yung effort, no? <laughs> Bantay magreklamo mo, class, ha? Nga. Dili makita kong dag akong face. So, ako, nakipadako na na ako akong face. Okay, so, fifth is the yard and setback. And then, minimum setback of dwelling units, both for open market and min, uh, medium cost housing project shall conform to National Building Code of the Philippines. So, syempre, no, as I said earlier, setbacks. Okay. So, naagiha po ni siya classification, di ba, sa National Building Code. On sa ang R1, ang R2, ang R3, R4, R5. So, laylay, ilang front, side, o rear nga setbacks. Di ba, uh, as I said, sa National Building Code, on sa purpose aning setback, for primarily uh, for protection in case of fire. Nadili magkanat-kanat ang fire from one housing unit to the other. So if you want to mawalay setback, dapat mag firewall ta. Okay. Sixth, water supply system. The subdivision water supply shall be mandatory or ob obligatory. Uh, connected to appropriate public water system or community system, provided that the water supply is enough to meet the total daily requirements of the anticipated population. So, dapat na agid siya source of water. Kaya, so na lang ang pag, pag kuan, leave, di ba, sa uh, mga residente anang nga lugar, if walay source of water. Huh? Then, electrical power supply. Installation practices, materials, and fixtures used shall be in accordance with the provisions of the Philippine Electrical Code and or local utility company. Provision of street lighting per pole is mandatory at 50 meter distance and every other pole is distance is less than 50 meters. Okay. And then, electric bills for the street lights shall be uh, proportionately shouldered by the user, therefore, thereof prior to issuance of certificate of completion and turnover of open space to LGU. So, after na dayan ana, no, ang developer, turnover na dayan niya sa uh, homeowner nga koan association ang, ang pag, uh, I mean, pag pag maintain sa subdivision so that's why naana da yung president pag elect na din yung say president secretary treasurer so dinha da yun na ay kung subdivision na agin na sila tawag na uh, monthly fees for the street lights if 
social-social ang inyong subdivision na ay guard, no? So, naagid kay monthly ana ang fees ang each resident na nagpuyuan na nga subdivision. Okay, still under section 1, sewage disposal system. Sewage disposal system for open market and medium cost subdivision shall, uh, project shall either be any of the following. First, connection to community sewer system and B, septic tanks. Sa Philippines class, wala, wala a community sewer system. I haven't seen one in my uh, entire professional years. Wala pa ko yung nakita ng community sewer system. Maybe sa koan class, na ay public sewage, but kanang mga koan, uh, lahi na like uh, kanang sa mugawas na nga, nga waste sa inyong water closet. Wala pa ko'y nakita na murag centralized nga mag-collect ana. Maybe siguro sa Manila karon nga kuan na um, dense na kaayo ang population. So murag lisod na kaayo mag mag-create og individual septic tanks. So muna siya na ana day mga community sewer system. Kana atong mga nakita sa city karon class nga mag-collect rain water man na ang ilang gina-drain ana. Ah uh, walay labot ang 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 waste nga makuan sa sa mga water closets. And then nine drainage system. The drainage system of subdivision shall conform to the natural drainage pattern of the subdivision site and shall drain into appropriate water bodies or public drainage system. Okay, so, na, din ha na siya. Muna akong dimension kanina. Nga, ato makita din hi nga mga, mga dagko nga culverts sa dalan, no? sa kilid sa dalan. Din ha na siya. Muna siya ang public drainage system. Minimum drainage pipe diameter shall be 30 centimeters. Muna siya ang minimum um, diameter. So, this around na, 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 30, 30 cm. So, Colberts na ang tawag anak ng mga concrete nga pipes. Nagi hapoy available nga PVC anak class pero dili dili kayo siya readily available sa market. You have to order it, no. And then 10 is the garbage disposal system. The subdivision shall have a sanitary and efficient reuse collection and disposal system, whether independently or in conjunction with the municipal city garbage collection and disposal services. So, dapat na agin na siya koan. System na how to collect your garbage or i na abamoy. Uh, if dako na kaayo ang subdivision na ay uh, area dito for reuse and disposal of your garbage. Okay. Section 2, Design Standard and Guidelines for Residential Condominium Projects. So, Section 2 is about condominium projects. So, same is same na agyapon siya side criteria. So, the site criteria, it should conform conformity to the comprehensive land use plan zoning or the same with the subdivision. Dapat nagya pun siya sa residential zone. And then, planning consideration, area planning, site preservation, same with subdivisions. Design parameters, nice space uh, location, no? Allocation, space allocation shall provide areas for living, dining, kitchen, sleeping, toilet and bath, laundry, drying area and storage. The minimum size of which shall be in accordance with the requirements of the National Building Code of the Philippines and its implementing rules and regulations. Okay, so dapat ang unit nga imuhang isel sa condominium na naakay syempre kitchen, Nice dining areas, sleeping areas. Not necessarily a bedroom, but dapat na siya allocated na sleeping sleeping areas. And then, toilet and bath. And then, laundry. Laundry areas or 
asa ni mo ihang imuhang laundry or naaba mo dryer no naagya pun siya is kuan storage or service areas so syempre unsay unsay ato ang uh, uh, unsay need nato no sa daily nga basis nga asa ka magpuyo dapat provided gihapon na siya nga comfort sa mga, sa condominium units okay so the design parameters minimum sizes of rooms you follow the NBC National Building Code of the Philippines so for the habitable um, rooms no minimum area is 6 square meters minimum dimension is 2 for the kitchen is 3 square meters for the minimum uh, dimension of 1.5 and toilet and bath 1.2 0.9 meters. Okay. Parks and playgrounds or other recreational areas required if 10 condo units or more. Then project is 100 square meter or larger. Okay. So, dili siya necessary class nga na ay percentage at pareha sa, sa, sa subdivision na sa condominium, ma-required lang na siya if naanay 10 ka condo units na na siya parks and playgrounds. And then, kung the project is over 1,000 square meter. And maybe wave if the public park is within 800 meters. So, kung naaray, if ang imuhang i-develop nga, nga area, nga, sa, nga con condominium, right beside the park, po, so, advantage na siya sa developer dili na siya kailangan nga mag magdevelop pa og makuhaan ang iyahang ang iyahang square meter sa lot for the the playground kay na na may parks na public parks no? 50 square meter for 10 condo units and plus 3 square meter for every additional unit okay parking space requirement follow the NBC Kung sa ang gi-require sa NBC, maura gihapon. No? Units with a floor area of 18 square meter to 22 square meter. According to the NBC, one slot for every 8 units. Okay, rule 1, under rule 1, section 2, design parameter. parameter. Uh, off-site parking. Okay, it's okay. Uh, meaning anong off-site parking class, ang iyang parking area, wala din ha sa building mismo or sa location mismo. So, off-site lahi. Uh, na ay off-site parking sa katong nagsira na sa Corrales man siguro to nga uh, I forgot the name uh, off-site ang niya. Uh, allow, allowed na siya class if it is located 200 meters uh, away or less from commercial condo. Okay? And okay if 100 meter away or less from if residential condo. Kung residential condo class, resident for residential, lagi na siya ang na, na adin na mga owner, ana, nga unit, condo unit. When you say commercial unit, mix na na siya. So, na anay commercial, nga kuan, or tindahan, or then na residential, nga unit. And then, the roads, minimum road right to way is 8 meters. 8 meters gina class. Kay ang 6 meters lang na BP220 ra gid na siya. Pero minti ko ana ka observe nga kuutan ra kaayo ko sa mga roads nato diri. I hope nga when you become an, an architect someday, ini gina siyang ikuan nga when you design, ayo ayo mo pagpa-influence sa owner nga. Syempre ang owner man gid or sa developer mo insist man gid nga Kamaya na lang din na ang, ang road architect kay kuan dili biya na siya sellable, di ba? Para biya na sa access. Pero, um, I hope nga in, inyo na siyang ikuan nga inyo i-convince ang owner nga 8 meters ang minimum. No? Unless you are ikuan sa low cost. No? Para na sa pag-convince din sa architect na uh, follow ang ang owner sa unsay unsa gi standard nato no sa building and then 6 meter for the carriageway no 
for the carriageway, 2 meters for the sidewalk, planting strips, and hierarchy of roads, uh, follow requirements for subdivisions. And then path walks minimum uh, width of 1.2 meters. Uh, na ay mag path walk of 1 meter. Mm, that's wrong. So, under this law, it's 1.2 for the comfort of the user. Second is the floor area requirements. So, sing single occupancy meaning ana, um, isa ra ang uh, family, no? Uh, kuan, nag-occupy ana. Single occupancy is 18 square meter and 12 square meter for student. Okay. For the family occupancy, 22 uh, square meter for medium cost and 36 square meter for open market. Okay, family occupancy, um, may mama, papa, mga anak, uh, single occupancy for ita, ito or isa, or duha mo sa imong husband. Section 3, uh, conversion of existing structures to condominium projects. So, syempre, pwede ni mo siya ma-convert ang imuhang uh, na-analogar existing buildings. You can uh, convert that to condominium. Ang condominium, mga good term na condominium class, um, mag ma kuha na na siya sa ownership. No, I matawag ni mo siya nga, kana nga building sa condominium kung ang each unit ana nag i na siya sa klasiklasi nga tao. Kaya kung uh, apartment, rent rama na siya. So, gi-own, gihapon na uh, kana siya nga building, gi-own sa isa ka owner. Muna siya ang comparison sa kuan condominium o sa apartment. And then, not necessarily po na condominium siya, residential na gidna siya. Not necessarily. Pwede ni mo siya matawag ang building na condominium, miski na ay ga store din na, nagbaligya, or gihi mo siyang office for as long as individual ang ownership each unit. So, upon proper application, therefore, with the board and compliance with the requirements of the condominium laws and these rules and standards. So, Mag-apply, gihapon na, na gihapon na process, evaluate na sa board, if pasado ba, kana siya nga building, na i-change into condominium. And then section 4, variances. So design standards and requirements may be modified or varied by the board. So nabutang sila diri o section, nga pwede ni mo ma-change ang, muna siya ang uban gina-abuse sa uban developer, labi na kung naakay connection sa board nga ah, pwede ready ni siya ma-alter ni siya ang naka-stipulate diri nga standard because gi-approve man siya sa board matingala lang ka nga ano kini nga subdivision nga no ang wala ni siya nag-follow sa kuan lahi ang iyang kibali mo rag standard maybe na-approve siya because na-approve siya sa board Okay, section 5, application for approval of subdivision development plan. Okay, apply with the board or local government unit. L L LGU uh, concerned for the approval of the subdivision development plan. Uh, this is an, an example. This is an example. This one. This one is the example. Section 6, Application for Approval of Condominium Plans. So, any registered owner or developer of a parcel of land wishes to develop the same into a condominium project shall so apply with the board. The owner or developer shall submit the condominium plan in accordance with the requirements of National Building Code of the Philippines, uh, official of city or municipality where the property lies and same shall acted upon subject to conditions and in accordance with the procedure prescribed in section 4 of the condominium act RA, 9, uh, RA number 4726 so rule 5 registration and licensing of subdivision and condominium projects 
So, again, i-run through na ni nato class nga sections. Huh? Under section 7, na adid to nakabutang ang application for registration. So, naan na mga, naan na mga set of requirements on how you apply for for the registration of your condominiums or your subdivision. Okay. Condom uh, common requirements, the owner uh, or the real estate dealer interested in the so sale of lots or units in a subdivision project or condominium project respectively shall register the project with the board following their requirements. Okay. Section 8, application for license to sell. Okay. The owner of the real estate dealer interested in the sale of lots, you need thoughts class, it's uh, lots ni siya, ha? or units in a subdivision or sub uh, condominium project shall apply with the board for the license to sell by submitting the requirements set by them. Okay, section 9, notice the publication, amended board resolution number 760 series of 2004. Section 10, Certificate of Registration. Section 11, License to Sell. Okay, muna siya mga documents class kung kung ano na magpalit na. Hmm, gusto palit doon. Transfer na ang title sa owner, sa katong buyer. Uh, performance Bond. Ano na ay mga performance band any under this section. So, rule 5, application for registration of brokers and salesmen. Okay. So, dili basta-basta magkinsa lang ang magbaya, ang magbaligya. No? Dapat na agay mga brokers and salesmen. It should be registered. No broker or salesman shall engage in business of selling subdivision lots or condominium units without securing a certificate of registration approved by the board. And section 14, certi certificate of res registration. Section 15, bonds. Kana mga bayad bayad, no? Bonds. And section 16, definition of terms. So, dinhi ninyo an own class sa definition of terms if wala na mo yung mga wala na sabtan sa mga terminology sa law sa ani nga law dinhi mo sa definition of terms the purpose of these rules and words and phrases are defined in this section section 7 subdivision of semest semestral reports on operations so, mga subdivisions ni I-Class na ano siya mga semestral reports on operations na i-submit nila sa board. Ang money nila siya. Inani ang kuan. Inani ang sales karon ron. Section 18, display of certificate of registration. The the the, the developer should, should display the, the, the certificate of registration para makita sa public that it's a legitimate na operating subdivision or condominium. So, and license to sell, 19, section 19, lost or destroyed certificate of registration, na adinipod, gibutang kung na lost or destroyed. So, on sa mga buhaton sa, sa developer, if na, na nawala or na, na destroy ilang certificate of uh, registration or license. And then, I mean the, oh, oh yeah, nisha. And then section 20, ad, advertisement. And how you sub advert advertise your subdivision but for selling. And then section 21, time of for completion. Section 22, transfer of ownership or change of name. Uh, section 23, al alteration of plans. Section 24, non forfeitable for feature of payments. Section 25, Registration of Conveyance. And Section 26, Smart Gages. So, kung ilo ni mo sa bangko. Section 27, Realty, Realty Tax and Other Charges. Section 28, Complaints Against Owners, Developers, Dealers, Brokers, and Salesmen. Section 29, Administrative Fines. 
Section 30, Criminal Penalties. So, pwede gihapon gib ka makulong, no? The developer, pwede siya ma-preso if wala siya ni-follow ani nga mga standards nga stipulate ani under this law. Section 31, Identification of Lot, Subject of Sale. Mga names na dahil sa lot, individual lots. Section 32, Broker, Salesman as Witness to Sales. Section 33, there are fees. Uh, section 34, applicability. So, asa ra ni siya applicable na law. So, syempre, dito sa condominium subdivision. Um, section 35, transitory provisions. Section 36, separability clause. Six, section 37, effectivity. So, all in all, 37 sections under this law. Okay, so thank you. And if you have any questions, you can email me at vigormaricel at gmail.com or you can message me at my FB account or sa ato ang page. Okay, so after ninyo ma-watch ni class, um, start to review because for the next meeting, I'll give a quiz for this, um, for this topic. Okay, see you class. Uh, stay safe, stay at home, and God bless. Bye-bye.